Hey everybody, it's Michael here from GoodyReader.com. We're at Sit Display Week 2013 at the e Ink booth. And what do we have here? Well, it's one of the first fully featured phones using an e-paper display. Full specs will be available on our site. You get a sense on how it looks here. It's running Android 2.3. See the speaker. Volume up and down. Power button slash it brings on the front lit display. You can see here it has So here is like your main OK button, back, settings and options. Okay, so you can see here that there's an, it has like a, a unique interface. Date, time widget, if you look at the contact list. So you can see here, enter a new content. Software is not totally polished yet, so there's only so many things that actually work. You can see that entering a number fairly quickly. You can see that there's no refresh issues. Click here to remove the keyboard. Type here, bring it back up. Let's check out the settings here. Standard Android against 2.3 show you the version number here. I uh, know word yet if you'll actually be able to load in Jelly Bean or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure that you should be able to do that. But note for advanced users only. Brightness, sensor level, pretty well all the Android goodies are here. You can engage in messaging. And this is a good time to show you the keyboard. Full QWERTY. You can see that it's fairly quick to type. This is the main applications list here. You can see you have your news apps, browsers. Things like this are subject to change, of course. Now, it does have an e-reading app. It's fairly basic. But you can increase, say, like the text size. As you can see, it's dynamically happening. Not a lot of sort of uh, refresh issues or anything like that. Sort of the table of contents. And then you have your settings menu. So obviously, margins, different features, different fonts. It's all in <laughs> a language that I don't know. But this is your main shelf here. Given that it's Android, I'm fairly certain that you, if you want to load in your own e-reading apps, you can put the Kindle app, Nook app, Sony app, Kobo app, pretty well any e-reading app you want, even Overdrive. Because it's Android, you can sideload in your own APKs. You just want to make sure that um, in the settings menu, you that you want to turn on unknown sources. So once that's on, you'll actually be able to sideload in your own APKs. Of course, when this phone uh, does come out, we will we'll be doing a full hands-on review and show you how to load in uh, files. In terms of availability and pricing, it's unknown. Uh, Onyx is currently courting carriers in order to uh, you know, find out how many that they could actually make, what the price would be. So. We're looking at perhaps Q2, Q3 of 2013, but it's not set in stone. But this is a very cool phone.
So you can see that the screen is rather large and again, full specs available on our website, goodyreader.com. So this is a first look at the new Onyx e-ink phone. It's one of the first fully featured e-paper phones. Uh, the Yoda phone is Android on the top and it just has an e-ink screen on the back. So this is fully featured. So first look at the Onyx phone for goodyreader.com. My name is Michael, Sid Display Week 2013.